Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Lady Hill Winery. My name is Dan DeRee. I'm the winemaker here at Lady Hill. I've been here since 2016. So I thought I'd take some time and give you a little bit of details about what I think of these wines. The 2016 Elena Red. Elena being Elaine Owen, our proprietress here at Lady Hill. I think she's always gravitated towards this Rhone style blend. So we were able to craft this classic MSG, as I would call it. You go down to the south of France, you'll see a lot of Mauved blended with Syrah, backed with this component of Grenache. That's exactly what this wine is. It's got about 48% Mauvedra. That Mauvedra offering red candied fruit, 47% Syrah. That Syrah providing this dark fruited component to sit alongside those candied red fruits, uh, plum, blackberry, but also a softening of the tannins. In France, Mauvedre is called the dog strangler because it does have this classic sort of cling to the mouth flavor component. That's why Syrah has always traditionally been blended with Mauvedre. You don't see a lot of single varietal Mauvedre down in the south of France. Um, one of the things that I love so much about this wine is as a winemaker, I was able to work in about 5% Grenache. Um, I love these wines, they're beautiful. I think on occasion they need some complexity to them and it's exactly what Grenache provides. It's a red fruited grape. Uh, it's usually a lighter red fruited grape, but you also have this wonderfully beautiful spicy component. Uh, I always think of something like a cedar box tobacco, um, some of these kind of more herbaceous notes that sit alongside that red candied fruit and that dark berry, making it what I consider to be a pretty incredibly complex style Rhone blend. And for the price point, in addition to it just being an everyday drinker, uh, I think it works really well with everyday cuisine. Um, you know, I would pair this alongside just, you know, something that, that we make a lot, uh, a meatloaf. Uh, it would also work alongside, um, dark meat game bird, something like pheasant or quail. Uh, that's a classic Rhone style blend. Uh, but I think where most people find this wine really working out for them is sitting by the fireside. It's got soft enough tannins that it can be consumed without food. And I think that's the way a lot of people find this wine, everyday drinking, group of friends, fireside, um, really no better place for these classic Rhone blends.